In this video I'm going to be going through the BSX function in MATLAB. So basically what it is is a replacement to using repmat. Uh, I'll show this to you through an example. Okay so first of all I'm going to allocate a random matrix called A and it's going to look a bit like this. My MATLAB is a bit slow so I do apologize as to what's going on. Okay so we have this A matrix right here. Uh, now suppose I create this B matrix, so this this one to five. Now what I what I want to do is I want to add these up. Usually the old way of doing this is that I repeat this, the one to five thing three times, and then I add add it up. So using repmat, I would go B, I would repeat three times, and then add up to A, and then I would and then I would get this matrix. Now this is okay for small matrices, but as far as big matrices go, you need to do a bit more. So, to, just to be efficient, um, what you can do is you can use this function called bsx fun, and then you need to write the fu function that you're going to impose on it, and this time it's just going to be plus, and then we're going to go a comma b, so basically add up a and b. And then it's going to give me the same result as repeating this, but except in as far as memory allocation goes, you don't need to um, allocate a large matrix B three times. Okay, so it's doing exactly the same thing except it's doing col um, columnwise addition. Okay, now what you need to be careful though is the size of A. So, so the size of A is 5 by 3 and the size of B is 5 by 1. So you need to have a common side that is equal. Now if I try to repeat this thing up here, uh, the BSX function, but with B transposed, it's going to give me an error, okay? Because the size sizes aren't the same. Also, just before we move on, it doesn't matter if I do B A or A B because MATLAB knows what it needs what needs to be done because it is doing just element-wise addition, okay? So um, yeah, so it doesn't really matter if you go B B plus A or A plus B. Okay, let's do one more example. So suppose I'm going to allocate this matrix C. Call one zero zero, and I want to and I want to times it this time. So this time I want to use the function at times. So this is a function that's being used, and then go a and c, and then we multiply them together, um, and then we end up with this matrix. And just to make sure that a is multiplying it properly, I'll just show you what the a matrix is. Okay, so it is the correct numbers. So it, it, all these numbers are multiplied by zero. Okay, now sometimes we want to do a bit more complicated things like, so, so for example, I want to go A times C, but I want to add up B. Okay, what I mean is I want to do this operation over here, but after I do that, I want to add up B, the one to five thing. So in order to do that, what we can do is we can concatenate. So I'm going to write BSX fun first and go at plus on the outermost one. And as far as the innermost one goes, I'm going to go at times, and then um, a comma c, and then I'm going to write b as the one that we're adding. And there you go. All right. So one to five is added up after we do the a times a times c. So that's all I have for now. So please subscribe, and if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.